friends for this video i'm going to show you how i do my diy bridesmaid bouquets if you want to see how i do this bouquet then keep on watching the materials that i'll be using for this video are of course some artificial flowers um, i am just buying different shapes different forms different textures i have some white roses some light blue roses um, different bunches that i've purchased from dollar stores and the theme that i'm going for is light blue and white tones next i have some floral tape cutting tools and some ribbon so the first step is just separating the stems from the bunch the flower bunch that i've purchased is kind of glued together so i am just using a cutting tool to cut off each stem individually because it just makes it so much easier to arrange your bouquets a little bit later so i'm doing this for every single flower that i'll be using in the arrangements Next, I'm organizing the single stems that I have here. Basically, I'm just making sure that the leaves are not bent um, and that they're placed correctly at the base. Just making sure that you will get the most texture um, and design from the bouquet when you arrange it later. It just makes it a little bit easier to make sure that you have a more well-rounded bouquet and it doesn't look so flat. So the first step is I grabbed the light blue rose. I've decided this is the focal point for my bouquet and then I grabbed some white roses and pretty much wrapped the light blue rose with the white roses After that, I grabbed another light blue rose and placed that next to the white rose. That way there is an alternating effect that's going on. So basically it's a light blue, white flower, and then another light blue. This way there is a more even distribution of color and it doesn't look so flat. But of course, this is up to your personal preference of what you would like um, to create for your bouquets. Of course, you can have more light blues for example or whatever um, color theme you're going for and you can just have the whites just to separate it a little bit but for me um there was majority white roses and um just some light blue rose that way it's kind of distributed evenly throughout the bouquets and you can still see that the theme is light blue and white tones um, and then you can add a bit more texture by adding some baby's breath i didn't actually end up using baby's breath for every single bouquet that i've made it just didn't look good in some bouquets so my number one tip is just to rearrange your bouquet as you go um, for example, if you've already had a bunch, you just hold it a little bit further from you so you can see it from a different angle and not so up close. Um, if you feel that it's not looking good, you just swap it out for a different rose, different flower. Once you're all happy with the bouquet, I just wrap this stem with my green floral tape. I've purchased this from AliExpress. I believe it was $1.50 to $2, not expensive at all it's slightly sticky on both sides which is very good and would be helpful for the next step when we wrap the ribbon next i just cut off the remaining stem with the same cutting tool that i used earlier And then the last step is just wrapping the stem with some ribbon. So you can't see the green floral tape. The color of your ribbon is according to your color theme. So for me, I'm using some satin light blue ribbon. It's just what I had available on hand. But of course, you can use a different type of ribbon. Um, I just find that the satin ones are much easier to work with because they're very opaque. I mean, you don't have to do a double layer to get the desired look. Um, and yeah, you can use different lengths as well and different width according to your preference. Once I've wrapped it all the way to the base, I am just going to cut off the excess with 
just normal scissors and I'm actually going to be using some hot glue to stick the ribbon in place. And then I've also decided just to add a um, ribbon at the base just to add another touch. That is basically the end product for my bridesmaid bouquets. As you can see, I've chosen to make it a little bit smaller than the typical bridesmaid bouquets that I see all the time on Pinterest. But this is just according to my personal preference. You can make the bunt a little bit bigger. So these are the bridesmaid bouquets that I ended up making for my bridal party. One bouquet ended up costing less than $20 each. The quotes that I got are about $50 at the very least, up to $100 per bridesmaid bouquet. So you're saving tons of money by DIYing it yourself. If you want to see more DIY or wedding DIY videos from me, please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye!